Hey guys, I entered this match 2 minutes and 20 seconds late, but I didn't start recording during the lobby because I was sending a message to Giaquinto718, so... Yeah, I missed the first 220 of this match, which is what prevents it from being my best score. I did the calculation. A full game, the way I play, would have come out to 16,000. And I'm pretty surprised, because I did some shit in this video that I did not know I could do. Like, I had only ever seen top players do it. And First off, tablecloth powers. That's all. That's not one of the mistakes I made in this game, because that wasn't my fault. That, put, bleh, that smoke bomb was perfectly timed. I climbed up to this wall, and I'm looking down there, and I see that knight turn around, which an AI would not do, so it's him. And there's the aerial, acrobatic, rather. I'm in third place already, it's been a minute. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well in this game, but it gets better. I see the deacon, I'm just run at him. I kind of... I still don't like the trickster, but that kill animation is pretty boss. Avoid the fucking aerial zones. Is there homo? You don't want to be in that shit. It's gonna go bad for you. Climb up to the rooftop to try and investigate who the fuck is creeping over here. And I look down, and I can't really explain to you how I figured out who that guy was. After some experience with this game, you'll just sort of develop an instinct. And you'll know which one it is. I can't explain it any better than that, really. It was intentional that I locked him. That guy misses one stun, and yet then gets the second. I don't know. Whatever works, he's dead. Hidden poison focus. And this NPC is just standing here. I saw a really creepy occurrence in a game earlier today, which I sadly was not recording on video. Where uh, I was playing against Own24, and he lagged mid-game, and every NPC on the map just stopped moving and stood still for like a minute, and it was really creepy. And I'm trying to get the drop stone on that guy, but I didn't notice the Guardian. That's one of the mistakes I made, and the biggest mistake I made in this game is coming up right here probably pulled me down from 13k or so maybe more I see this knight draw the lock punch him and now I'm gonna go for the hidden poison you may or may not notice that I don't have poison charged so I flip out reflexively unlock him and then I have to relock him and kill him which gives the very same guardian time to run up and murder me through the neck with a giant spear sad very sad. Four minutes left. And I believe it's coming up right here as I do the first thing that I've never seen. No, it's not nearly coming up yet, actually. The first thing that I've only seen top players do. First off, I'm going to run smoke this guy. Here's a free hidden focus poison for me. I'm liking the switch from Mute to Poison. It's upping my score on the level that uh, changing to Aggressive started upping my score. I'm ignoring that guy way back over there because most of the lobby is over to this side. And I'm interested in hunting them down. Climbing up, I'm going to try and get a midair lock on this Vizier, and I pretty much succeed... Someone else is nearby, that courtesan started walking at me so I dropped the smoke bomb, but then I picked out the sentinel, and I've got another hidden focus f for myself. Going pretty well. I'm playing hyper aggressive right now, I see the deacon charge out, he's dead. Something that a lot of people don't look at that I'd suggest you pay attention to is in the top right corner under their portrait it will show you how many pursuers they have which can help you to get the poacher and save your medals two of the tougher ones to get for extreme variety 
It's very hard to intentionally get them. I'm gonna let this sentinel come at me so I can get my grab kill. Even though in the end it turns out it was completely unnecessary for me to do so. Dropping off the edge. There he is. Kill him. Stuns make grab kills real easy. And if I sound bored in this commentary or like I'm not saying much, it's because I've done shit tons of Assassin's Creed commentaries. Like, assassinate, rather. This guy probably should have locked me right here, but I should have locked him, so it makes up for it. And he's dead. I've done a lot of assassinate commentaries, and until I do my main tip commentaries, there's not all that much to say in a normal game. Here's the moment. This is ridiculous. I don't know how I did this. That is an insane kill right there. That's top-level shit. If I do say so myself. Which, of course, you know I fucking do. I don't know which one it is, so I'm not going to kill the champion. And here comes the Vizier. Another grab kill opportunity for me. Punch his bitch ass. Head over off the edge. And I see a sentinel creeping down here. Or the knight, is it? It's the sentinel. He's dead. That's that instinct moment right there. I didn't know who it was, but then I saw the Renegade, so I just punched him. Didn't matter. Bitch smacked him, rather. I pressed B for bitch smack. But I got contested. And died. As long as I die honorably, I still fucking don't enjoy dying. Charging over here, I see a sentinel just dicking around and running up the wall and shit. Kill him, drop the smoke bomb to punch the... Who is that? Renegade? Yeah. And I've got the poison. That Guardian's running down and killing random civilians, so I'm going for him now that I got the poison off. And that's a lot of points right there, and here comes a knight to add to it hugely with another kill streak. Whole bunch of crazy shit just happened there. Now I'm running, and I'm gonna get a drop stun on this guy chasing me, and then pull some more beast moments. He throwing knifed, even though it wasn't necessary. I wasn't going to move on landing anyway. And punch. And there's the drop stun. And kill this guy. Then drop the smoke bomb so I can get him when he gets up. Pretty good play right there. Always employ the drop stun. If you don't know what the drop stun is, a corner stun is when you run out around the corner to get them. But a drop stun is when you jump off a high roof. And since they are locked on you, they'll jump right at you. And you can actually get a naked stun on them when they land because they will roll and or, like, redirect off of you. Either way, it will usually stop them enough that you can get a free stun. And if it doesn't, you'll at least get the honorable death. They can't drop a smoke bomb or mute while they're in midair, so... That's my little bit on that. 12,350 would have come out to 16,000 and change again. This guy sends me a message telling me to give him some tips, so I directed him to this channel, but look at that. 92,000 gamer score. Crazy. Chachi out.